we've got a digester, it holds a certain volume, and we're pumping WAS to the digester. So it's very important with anaerobic digesters to hold the feed rate as constant as you can, because if you don't, you'll upset the digester. And upset digesters uh, foam and produce excess gas, and sometimes they go sour and die, so we don't want that to happen. So by they've already sort of given us the answer here in terms of what we're looking for. Okay, so we need to okay. find our pounds of volatile solids, right? So we need to find that piece of information, and we need to find out how many thousand cubic feet of digester we have. So those are the two pieces. If we find those two pieces, then we can solve the problem. Okay. So the easy thing to do is to just start with the digester. So we're going to take our 0.8 million gallons and we are going to convert that to 1,000 cubic feet, which is kind of a weird unit, but that's how we talk about digesters all the time. So I've got 1 million gallons underneath, um, which is going to get turned into a million gallons, one, two, three, four, five, six gallons. And then I can turn gallons into cubic feet because for, there are 7.48 gallons in one cubic foot. And then uh, we're going to divide by a thousand at the end here because we want thousands of cubic feet for our answer. And we just make sure that all of our units cancel. So top, bottom, top, bottom, uh, top. Well, we're going to end up with cubic feet when we're all done here. Thousand cubic feet. So cubic feet times a thousand essentially is how that gets written in the books. So we got 0.8 times a million divided by 7.48 and then divided by a thousand. So that all works out to 106.95 unless I have fat fingers, which is possible. You know, I would always punch it in twice and in fact, I think I will. <laughs> just to be sure. Yep, got the same answer twice, which is always a good indicator. <laughs> All right. The pounds formula is pretty straightforward. That's the second piece of this. Um, so if you're looking at the formula sheet that ABC puts out with their test, uh, this is going to be the mass formula or the feed rate formula. Um, it's the same formula, they just give it to you in two different configurations. So pounds is milligrams per liter, so that's our concentration, times our flow rate in MGD, times 8.34, and this is uh, actually not the weight of water, it's a conversion factor, so this is actually pounds per million gallons. Uh, and then, if we did that piece, that would give us total solids going into the digester, but we want to know what the volatiles are, so we're going to multiply by the percent volatile solids as well. Now, oh yeah, I did something else mean here, right? So that's not in MGD, it's in gallons per minute. So let's go down here and convert that to MGD. So we get 80 gallons per minute, 14, 40 minutes in a day, and then gallons is on the top over here, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. One million gallons on top, and so that little piece of math there, that little conversion, should get us to million gallons. So 80 times 1440 divided by a million 
and I get 0. 0.1152. Is that what you get? Mm-hmm. And it's a million gallons per day. All right, so we can take that and put it back into our formula up here. So we've got pounds of volatiles going to the digester is going to be our WAS concentration, which was 7,800 milligrams per liter. Okay. Right, they gave us that. Um, MGD, if, uh, sometimes they give it to you in a percent, um, and then you'd have to convert that before you could put it in, but milligrams per liter. Uh, then we're going to take our flow rate that we just found. It's not 80 gallons per minute. In order to use it with the pounds formula, you got to convert to MGD. So we did that. So there's my 0 0.1152 MGD times the 8.34, and that's our conversion factor. And then the percent volatile is 82%. And again, this always goes in as a as a decimal. So we're just going to convert those. Uh, to pennies and we get 0.82 dollars there. So how many pounds of volatiles that we get going here? So 7,800 times 0.1152 times 8.34. So I got uh, 6, 1, Four five. So that's how many pounds of volatiles are going in there every day. Okay. Okay. And the loading rate is the last little calculation that we have to do. So that's our last piece. And they told me that the units were pounds of volatiles per thousand cubic feet. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take my pounds of volatiles and divide it by my thousand cubic feet. I've got both of those numbers. So this ends up being 61.45, and the bottom number is our 106.95 cubic feet. And I'm uh, I should be writing my units down here, but I'm a little because I'm I'm slow. I'm writing slow, I'm trying not to. Uh, So where are we? 61.45 divided by 106.95. 57 pounds of volatiles per thousand cubic feet. So a sort of a typical range for an anaerobic digester would be anywhere between 100 and maybe 350 pounds of volatiles per thousand cubic feet. So this is lightly loaded, but it's going to work just fine. You know, lightly loaded is okay. <laughs>